question I have for all of you, because the editors, of course, are part of this process, but the, the balance of what is intimate and what is inside Robin Williams and then the performative Robin Williams. Because you could just entertain everybody all day long. There's never going to be any problem with that. When do you go dark? When do you go light? This is my question. And I would love you all to address it. Let, let me say one thing there, because I come from the world of comedy. That's what I've done for 45 or so years. And to me, there's just never enough funny, and especially for, uh, smart funny, which is what Robin was. And what it took was filmmakers to make what you saw tonight, because Marina and I are not argued, but talked. Well, is there a little more funny? Is there, and and you know, it's all about pacing. And uh, I just think she did a spectacular job of making this a film, well, not just a, not just a concert. Us. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah, not just a concert. Right. And you know, my job was always making the concerts with Robin. That was how we worked together. We worked uh, on all of those shows. And uh, we made concerts. They made a movie. So it worked out pretty good. Well, let's talk about how you tried to, to keep him happy and, uh, <laughs> and make the movie that you thought you needed to make. Let's, let's get into that. Well, we knew we wanted to use Robin's voice and have him tell his story. So we were looking for as much archive. Oh, is Michael Gaines here? I think he told me he was coming. Yeah, back here. Hi, Maria. <laughs> so Michael did an interview with Robin uh, in the 70s that had never seen the light of day. And it was like, those kinds of archival gems that you're like praying for. Um, so, well, and we found that he was um, he, he was such a different person, uh, especially on the audio interviews, like, like what uh, Michael had did and, and uh, what Larry Grobel had done with him and stuff. And so, we, we were really attracted to those in the early days because it was this new sort of side of Robin that most of us had never witnessed before, you know, it wasn't the talk show uh, Robin, and it wasn't, um, you know, the actor, the film actor Robin, it was very intimate. Like, when we first found the, that, that first interview where he says, I was so fucking quiet, we were like, yes, you know, this is, this is more of what we want to. But it was literally like, I remember at one point Greg was like, I'm looking for a needle in a haystack. <laughs> it's like going through line by line, and you can have those archival tapes, whether it's our, uh, uh, audio or video, sometimes it was video, but we only use the audio, but you can have them transcribed, but you have to hear the performance and hear the emotion and hear when he's open and when he's thoughtful and when he's reflective. And so we were really searching for the real Robin underneath kind of the performance.